Only Doherty, thank you for talking to Frank Moore on Dot TV. It's been a while since we've seen you, seen you, but it's good to have you back and you yeah. come back against Barry Jones. Yeah. It's a difficult little fight for you. I mean, not in terms of the fact that you know you're not up to that sort of standard, but coming off a loss and then coming back and uh, fighting a tricky little southpaw. Um, well, it's it's not tricky for me. On paper, it's a tricky little fight, but um, to be quite honest with you, I know Barry all my life and. Um, he was a good amateur. He's not a bad professional. He's, not, he's undefeated. But look at Enzo's done wonders with me. You know what I mean? Um, there's one or two little faults that I had. He's, um, he's recorrected him. And um, well, we're just training hard, and I can't wait for Saturday night, and you'll see a good performance. I mean, talking about Enzo Kazak, you've also been with Jim McDonald before and Byron Hughes up in Manchester. I mean, you've, you've said he's done wonders. A bit more specific, what has he done? Because, you know, just a few days out from the fight here, you do look in great shape. Yeah, I'm in fantastic shape. I take nothing away to, from Brian. And Jim McDonald, two fantastic trainers. Um, I'm just happy to be back home, to be honest with you. And um, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm not going to tell you what he done. But anyway, I'm happy to be back home. And um, my mother's not too good, so I had to come back. And um, I'm just, I'm glad to be back on, on, on Enzo's team. We're here, I've got the best of spar. Uh, you got from like light welterweight weight all the way up to the spar Joe Kalzaki. I've, I've done a lot of sparring, but so my confidence is sky high, like, you know what I mean? So. A little bit about your last fight, because Kevin Anderson obviously was the man that you lost to over a 10-rounder. When you look back on that now, and you, and you look at the decision, at the time you were bitterly disappointed, you were even questioning the decision. When you look back on it now, are you still questioning it? Yes, I am. Most definitely questioning that decision. At the end of the day, I didn't box up the power. I absolutely stunk the joint out. But listen, I had a lot of personal problems. I ain't, making, I ain't a boy to make no excuses. McIntyre, take your hat off to him. He got the decision against me. He went back up to Scotland, took the British title off Anderson and offended against him. But look it, at the end of the day, I won that fight. Hands down, everybody, Colin Hart had me winning by like three or four rounds. McDonald had me winning by like five, six rounds. I had the tape re-looked at again um, by Jim McDonald and Marcus Mike. Oh, I shouldn't have really said that one. But anyway, I've had it looked again by a judge and they, they gave me the fight hands down. Obviously, it was the, uh, McIntyre there. Sorry, I said Anderson, because of what I meant is that McIntyre went on yeah. to take the title from Anderson, and in a rematch, he retained his British title. When, when you look at his performances against Anderson in both those fights, do you look? Can, can you see that? Okay, well, well, this guy was actually probably better than I thought he was. No, no, no. Look at um, at the end of the day, Kevin Anderson was made for McIntyre. He ain't got an elusive style like I've got. Um, on the worst night of my life, I should have got the decision, and McIntyre got it. You can't walk in straight lines to a tall opponent. And unfortunately, that's what Anderson is. But anyway, that's their fight. I'm looking forward for the rematch. I've, um, I don't know how Kell Brook has got the nod, because he ain't boxed no one in the top 15 of Britain. And um, I'm just hoping to get past it. Well, I get past this one. I should win my next fight, hopefully. And um, get on and fight the winner of McIntyre and, 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 um, and Kell Brook. That's the fight I want. I want the British title this year. This obviously is for the vacant Welsh uh, welterweight title at the moment, this is coming up here. But uh, how important is it, because I know that you've always been a lot of fans of these fights, and it, it, it's a great atmosphere on fight night when you're on the bill. That's right. Hopefully I'm on early this night. <laughs> um, last night it was like one o'clock in the morning, but um, yeah, the atmosphere will be absolutely buzzing again. You know, all the family, all the fans around Wales, and I've just come to Enzo's, trained absolutely unbelievable hard, ridiculously hard, and he's pushed me all the way. And um, as I said, I've got my steps coming off, but I'm bang on the nail now. I just can't wait for Saturday. A really, really good display.